Hold the line! I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now! Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. Too many people died here, Fist. You don't get to walk away. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Just set 
me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. 
Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Enjoy the look on the council's face when they see evidence they can't just ignore. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the council.
I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just Iceland. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull! Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. 
You are the first human Spectre Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've heard some humans are angry at the Corians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds.
In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work. But the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. 
Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. 